Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And we've got a very, very odd story here because John Swinney has said something that normally I would laugh at and I would mock and I would say he's delusional and all this. However, that was the direction I was going to take the video, but I've thought about it and I'm going to I'm going to do the story as it's presented. But I'm actually, I think there's an, an alternative take on it. And I'm not going to mock him for what he said. I'm going to mock him, but not for what he said. Because I think what he said is actually going to be right. Because John Swinney has said that come the election, regardless of the result, he will still be the leader of the party. And as I say, initially I would have gone, don't be silly, John, yeah, you're going to get your hand, arse handed to you. You'll be out, you'll be out, out, you know, and you'll be gone. And then I thought about it. And I think I might agree with Swinney. I think Swinney will stay on. But why is interesting. And that's what we'll take a look at. We'll go in now, take a look at the story, and see why Swinney may well be right. And it's weird saying that, but here goes. Now, before we get into this story, do please hit the subscribe button. Massively helps the channel. We are political and uh, YouTube really hates political channels, uh, which is why sometimes it uh, randomly unsubscribes people without their knowledge or consent. So also check you're still subscribed. And of course, absolutely put the thumbs up on this video because I think you'll like it. Now, Swinney is committed to SNP leadership regardless of the result. That's the claim. This is in the standard. Um, and I think, and this is why I think he's right, even though my first initial reaction was one of scoffing and mockery. But it's simple. He has a terrible, terrible result. The SNP are in disarray. They're in financial, you know, turpitude, for the want of a better word. Who will want to take over? Who will actually want to become the leader of a dying party? I don't see them rushing to do it. I think he will hang on a while. Um, and I think he'll wait and bide his time and they'll let him carry on. And they'll say, well, he had to go over at a very awkward time. He only had such a short run up. We're not going to castigate him in that. I think that's going to be the spin they're going to put on it. The fact is the party is done. It's run out of ideas, it's run out of policies, it's run out of time, and it is now terminal for the party. I, I do hope, I, I, I do hope it is just simply, uh, you know, whirling around the drain, ready to go, and it's not gonna make a, a valiant recovery. That would be the last thing we want. But the other thing is, who could take over? If, as is likely, um, Stephen Flynn loses his Aberdeen seat. He's probably the only person that's got the cojones to take it over. But of course, then he's going to have to hang around and wait until uh, a seat becomes available that he can fight and then take uh, and hopefully win. Of course, there's no guarantee he'd win it and take it to get in as an MSP in order to become leader. And like I say, there's no guarantee that that will happen either. So they could be rooting around for quite some time looking for a leader. And who else? There's a few that would like the role, but there's none of them any good at it. And I think Kate Forbes had her had her moment in the sun a few months ago and she blew it. She absolutely blew it. And I don't think she'll ever be leader now. I think people have rumbled her. She's weak. Um, she doesn't have the acumen for it. None of them do. There's very few of any kind of, of talent, of course. The only other option, and God forbid, the only other option is that you-know-who rises from the grave, vampiric-like, hungry for blood, and they bring back Sturgeon. It's not impossible. I mean, it, the optics are terrible, but it's not impossible. Can you imagine... Sturgeon coming back, but it won't be immediately. They'd have to gaslight it. They'd have to get to a phase. They'd have to pretend that Swinney was struggling on bravely, but then all of a sudden 
was starting to feel the effects of it on his age and blah, blah, blah. And then they'll ease him into retirement, that kind of thing. And he'll get his 50,000 or whatever it is a year. Uh, and off he goes, a little pat on his bald head and out he goes. But, oh no, we need a leader. Who can possibly do it? And uh, Sturgeon will step back up. That's a prediction. I'm not saying it's a likely prediction, but it's not unreasonable, is it? Who knows? Uh, anyway, very quick here. It's, uh, it's only very recent. It's, it's like a breaking news piece. Uh, First Minister John Swinney has said he's committed to his role as SNP leader, regardless of the result on Thursday. An opinion poll suggests the party could drop a substantial number of seats with Labour, uh, the, with the, you know, Labour being the most likely beneficiaries. Now, there is something I'm going to take you on a little journey here. I'm just going to flick over to this. So we have this poll tracker. Now, this is UK-wide, so it's not specifically Scotland. doesn't show the SNP. But what is significant is, since the election's been called, look, Labour went along. They all, In fact, they all, all parties, if you look down there with the, the mousing over the cursor there, they all more or less were straight. You hit the call the election. Labour immediately started trending down. The Tories started trending down. The Lib Dems very slightly ticked up. The Greens carried on as normal. But look at reform. A great trend up. Now, obviously, this doesn't affect the uh, SNP. But within this, it's showing a trend up. The other thing is that the SNP recently have also trended up very slightly. One or two percentage points in the last couple of days. And it's nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough to catch Labour. It's about a point up. So they, they were six, percent, uh, six points behind and now only five points behind. But with three days to go, nowhere near enough. And of course, that was only a little spike. Their general trend is still down. Now, when I say they're trending up, they're trending up on the last couple of days. Their general trend since the election is down. It's, it's not looking good for them. And so who could possibly do this? Anyway, Swinney took the role uh, on just eight weeks ago after Hamza Youssef spectacularly ended his his entire political career by hanging on to his best friend, fraudster and liar, rather than face him up and say, right, you've screwed up, go and take your leave of absence. You're off, you're out the team, go to the back benches and I don't want to hear from you for a while. That's what you should have done, but he didn't. He was weak, he was vacillating, he was a little yo-yo man, you know, the Ken doll of politics. And he didn't have the cojones to do it. And that in the ultimately cost him. Uh, anyway, he says, this is Swinney, he says he wants to carry on as leader until the 2026 Holyrood election and beyond. They can't allow that, can they? They cannot allow him to do it. He says, I became leader of the SNP eight weeks ago today and I came into the leadership of the SNP to bring my party together and to bring my country together. No, you haven't. You've done it for your pension. Don't tell tales. He said, I'm committed to do that for the long term. I commit to that task to take my party well beyond the 2026 Scottish Parliament elections. And that's exactly what I intend to do. You may well intend it, and I think you may be right, but I don't think you'll be there until 2026. You'll be there until Stephen Flynn can get a seat in Holyrood. Let's face it. You were a caretaker then. You're a caretaker now. Don't be making long-term plans. Coming up. He thinks he's going to be there long term. He really is delusional. But I do think he'll be there intermediate. I don't think he'll go straight after the election. I think they need someone in place, someone to carry the can, someone to carry the flak. And then when the time is right and someone emerges, they need him to go, need Swinney to go. And when he goes, he takes all their sins with them. And then they can start afresh. Assuming, of course, they still exist and that. Dear friends, it's down to you and tactical voting. I keep pushing it, but it's true. Tactical vote, get them out, end the SNP. Thanks very much for listening. Move on. We've got another video coming up. There's lots today. It's a very busy day. First day of the month. We've got to hit the ground running. Take care. Bye.